Welcome to the SFL. I'm Cameron Irvine, lead play-by-play -play man and commissioner of the First Football Esport League. And this extensive guide will help you find everything you need to get the full SFL experience or the experience you want. The first step to learning more about the league is on SFL Interactive, the multimedia hub of our website. Head to simulationfl.net and click on the Interactive tab in the menu. Once you're there, create your profile and receive your first 10 points. They'll show up in the upper right-hand corner. Points can be used to pay for anything from player progression to photo galleries and so much more coming soon. On SFL Interactive, you can watch exclusive league content like behind-the-scenes footage and videos, amazing plays, and classic games. You can also watch live games every Sunday night and participate in live lotteries, which can net you more free points. Back on Discord, introduce yourself in the Introductions channel to receive permissions. Tell us how you found us, who you are, and what you're interested in. From here, you can message team owners and general managers and inquire about joining the live stats, beat writing, multimedia, or broadcast teams, and hunt for your future home on the field. There are two ways to get on a team, either as an undrafted free agent or through the rookie draft. If you join in the months of April, May, October, or November, you qualify for the rookie draft right away. Since rosters are locked during these months while the league wraps up seasonal competition and teams are re-signing or signing veteran players. If you join in any other month, becoming an undrafted free agent is your most likely route. Either option can net you success. If you're going into the rookie draft, a little bit of everything can go a long way in a competitive field. Make an impression by purchasing or gaining your points for player progression in advance. Earn a high chat ranking and show your desire and professionalism in the community chat rooms and in private messages with teams. Join a league staff, team, or contribute to the league's general fund. Drafts are held at the beginning of every June and December. If you're going to get scooped up as an undrafted free agent, your chat ranking determines what type of opportunities you could have. To find out if there are any recent openings on teams, check the player openings section of Discord. If all rosters are full, don't be discouraged. Opportunities come up all the time and it may just be the perfect fit to start your career. Every offseason, you're able to start completely from scratch if you want, or you can negotiate a new deal with your current team or a different squad. Games are broadcast Sundays through Tuesdays on our SFL networks on Twitch, YouTube, and Fuel. While you're subscribing to those feeds, make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and give us some love on Instagram. If you need or want to talk to league staff, we're always listed in gold at the top right of the member list in Discord when we're online, and we'll always try to assist you or make time for you as best we can. That's the Simulation Football League, and that's just the start. Thanks for being here to make an impact. I can't wait to call your name. And returning it back the other way is Jack Burton. And Carolina has a touchdown on a pick six. Spins out of a sack, throws it to the back of the end zone. He's got his man. Touchdown. So they're like, oh, well, we need real players. Like, oh, okay. So you your quarterback? Sure. He's gone. To the 30. He's gone, baby. My goodness. Somebody cool off that man's feet because they're on fire. Oh! Watch it all now, and it's oh. caught! Oh, touchdown, Chicago! Unbelievable play! That's gotta be number one this week, and we just got started! People like immersing themselves and all the buildup that goes in, and with that, this is gonna explode big time. The SFL Network on Twitch welcomes you to the following presentation of the Simulation Football League. at Hyena Den Park Stadium in Houston, Texas for this presentation of the Simulation Football League on Twitch.tv between Houston Hyenas and the Las Vegas Fury. Good day, everybody. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Colin Northrup, along with Rick Northrup on color. Good afternoon. Welcome to the SFL convention in Atlanta. These are two teams that have never met before. It's their first ever meeting, so that should provide some intrigue, along with some ex-Fury players. A lot of smack talk going on between these two teams, Colin. What do you think? 
I think Anthony Wyo is coming into this game with something to prove, perhaps playing it against one of his former teams in fourth season in the league. Tom Roman Sr. calls the toss of the coin for Las Vegas. And he tails. But Houston wins the toss with heads. And they will elect to put their defense on the field. Coordinated by the Hall of Famer, two scoops at the age. Kickoff is next. David Griffin has the ball on the tee for the Hyenas. There's the signal, and kick it. We're underway. The return, fielded by Max Jackson, spins across, and it'll get knocked down at the 29-yard line. So we'll get a look at Thomas Rahman, number 11 quarterback. Hey. A and Robert Redford, number 28. Through my favorite move in that return, the spin move gets a few extra yards, as you always do with the spin move. They have three wide receivers, Brett Funk, John Blades, and Memphis Blue. They're all to the top of your pictures. Rollins back to throw, throws a post. Oh, oh it's almost kidding? intercepted by the second overall pick in this year's rookie draft, number 30. Aiden Davis. They want to make a, make a statement right on the opening play, Colin, and uh, heads up DB. The other corner is the defending rookie of the year, Everett Garrison. The safeties are Anthony Wyo, number 35, free, and number 27, the Hall of Famer, two scoops, and a gauge. We'll set the rest of the defense up to display as Raman stares at a blitz. We'll drop back to throw. Has some pressure in face. Fires down the field. Knocked oh, up in the air. And almost intercepted as Wyo knocks it with both hands. And the sneaky little defensive play there as they show blitz and then they back everybody out and only rush three. And then on the defensive line we for Houston, we have number 98, Chad Tackle. And number 99, Mike Fats Johnson, a former member of the Fury along with linebackers number 50, B.J. Loveless, and number 52, Rod Rodney Panini. It's a third and 10, over the middle he goes, it's complete to Blades, and he will only pick up six yards, and it'll force a punt on the first possession game for Las Vegas. Good solid defensive stop there in the open field. It basically chokes the guy out on the catch. Lanny Poffel on the field to punt for the Fury. And he gets a good protection and the boot is away. Nestles right in the arms of the return and that's just fed out to the 38. Houston tries to set up the return, doesn't basically doesn't rush anybody, Colin, and it uh, pays no dividends for them on that. We have the Offensive Rookie of the Year in season 11. Number five, Kentez Johnson, a quarterback. Number 21, the halfback, Warren Murray. And the wide receivers are Leroy Brown, number 11, and the doctor, the Hall of Famer, DR Sim, number 80. Of course, dividends are important because you want to be in a dividend reinvestment plan for your financial future. Here's a heavy set. Here's the first play. Hand off to Warren Murray. Follows oh his fullback blockers, and he picks up about seven yards. You know, I was talking to DeMond Simeon before the game. He said, I wanted to get my star players more involved, perhaps using Murray out wide in the passing game some more. Always a solid game plan to get your skilled players, your talented players involved and involved early. They've scored 10 points in each of their two losses so far, but the defense has held up well, giving up 16 and last week to San Francisco 17 points, respectively. Here's a blitz from Vegas. Here's a give once again to Murray. Up oh, the oh. middle he goes, carrying defenders all the way down to the 45. Let's set that Las Vegas defense for you. Strong safety number 37, Max Jackson. Then 
the rookie draft pick at number 11 overall, Jonathan Taylor Sconsing, number 24. The corners are America Terra, number 39, Thomas Robin Jr. And another corner, number 34, Jack Burton. As Murray again gets the carry, Warren spinning and carrying people past the first down marker to 34 for a pick of about 11 yards. Look at those holes that uh, the Houston O line's blowing through Vegas. Um, they're going to have to make a quick correction on that because something's not right in the blocking scheme. And Rhett Sawyer, the defensive tackle number 54, off-season free agent acquisition from Tulsa. Here we have a three-man backfield with the so other look, tight look at, end. Look at him crowd the uh, line with the linebackers there. No more holes. With Gathers in the backfield, but Murray still picks up three yards. In all running plays, they've have yet to have a passing attempt, Rick. Very oh. interesting strategy. I know, are we gonna, uh, will the De La Salle comment be coming out soon? I don't, I'm not sure, stay tuned for that. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. Sim is in the slot. And they give off again to Murray, and I think Vegas bottles it up this time after a two yard pickup. I think Houston outthought themselves that time. They, this first time they've run a, tried to run a sweep, there were still plenty of holes right up the middle. Here's Merrick Itero. Look at those purple sleeves, man. You can't miss a guy like that. <laughs> and they have eye formation. Jones in front of Murray. Johnson staring at three linebackers. We'll go off to Murray once again. There He's blown up in the backfield <laughs> by Jack Burton. Who records the TFL? Where's your drill instructor? Blown up, sir. Just a reminder, we're coming to you live from the SFL convention here in Atlanta. Woo! Yeah. If you haven't been to one of the SFL meetings before, you gotta you gotta think strongly about it next year. Or hey, next time hey, they have da one. Sorry, Cam. Here's David Griffin. You're going to attempt about a 48-yard field goal. The snap, the kick is on the way, and it is no good oh. off the crossbar. Oh. Griffin oh. misses for 48. The hyenas come away with zilch. So close. So very close. Well, somebody didn't have their two scoops on that one. Oh. <laughs> So, change of possession here. And the Fury with flames running down the side of their pants. I have, a, I have a burning opportunity to get this one into the end zone. Oh, you smoked it on that one, Colin. Empty backfield set for Raman. He's back to throw, has a clean pocket, fires down the middle of the field, Whoa. and is caught by Heck the of a receiver, number 16, Brett Funk. Heck of a catch in traffic. Front of the rookie, Everett Garrison. Getting all funky there. Or the second year player, Everett Garrison. Who am I talking about? Oh! <laughs> nice. So we have a first and 10 from the Hyena 39. There's a look at Funk. Matched up with Garrison. There's Robert Redford. Flexed out as a third wide receiver. Robin over the middle, knocked <laughs> away. And that's PJ Loveless. He got a big old pop there, the 245-pound linebacker. An extremely dangerous throw, and uncharacteristic from him into traffic. Looking for John Blades, who himself is a big man. He's 6'4". Memphis Blue, his first season back. He previously played with the Queen City Corsairs after taking a few years off is now residing in Vegas. Recently learned Queen City's Buffalo. We have trips to the top of the formation. Robert Redford is the deep back behind Raman. Here's another pass attempt from Raman. Goes on the oh! row. It's caught by Buck, <laughs> there's a fumble, and it's recovered by B.J. It. Loveless. Does he, did he have possession before he stepped out of bounds? Was he able to make a football move? Oh, yeah, Let's right, see. Right. Did, did he even have possession on the catch? Let's see. They called it a fumble, but one. Oh, no. ooh, ooh. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Aiden Davis, though, with a big hit. Is it gonna knocking be that out of bounds, getting this defense, what they thought was a turnover. Is there going to be any uh, red hanky on the field here, Colin? Let's go. 
Oh, oh, there we go. John Brown there we go. throws I the flag it. out on the I field. And we get our first look under the hood. We want to welcome R62 into the game. We'll get a good look at it here, Rick. Just a nice corner route. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't see like that as a catch. Looks like simultaneous catch fumble situation to me. <laughs> well, we'll take a look at the coaches. There's the Simi and John Bond. And, oh, John Bond wins the challenge. So Vegas dodges a huge bullet here in the early going. Yeah, I think that's the right call. That's right. <laughs> We got DeMond Simeon, the Hall of Famer, in the front row says that's a terrible call. Oh, is that he? <laughs> oh, that was Eddie, my bad. The whole, uh, I fell a Hall of Famer, just inducted last night. Here's the give to Redford, and he stopped behind the line of scrimmage on third and ten. Odd place to call it there. First carry for Robert. Don't forget, Vegas, they have a place kicker too. Number seven, Dustin McCrack, who was previously the team punter, takes over for Matt Rage. Tom Rahman with a shout out in the chat for R62. Is that the first ever shout out for R62? I'm not sure. As the punt from Poffo is away and the fair catch is called mm. by Fed at his own 12 yard line. So the Hyenas, they didn't do a passing attempt in their first drive. Do they trust their young quarterback to put it up in the air? Heck, if it's me, Colin, I'm going to keep running it right up the middle. Six carries for 31 yards for Murray. How's the average of 5.2? There's four wide receivers, three in a bunch, one to the bottom of your picture. Johnson will turn, give to Murray on the trap, hurdles over down lineman, and will pick up three yards on first down. That's not bad as the right. Probably the right call into that uh, three down lineman front. We got Red Sawyer. He's a big right. guy in there. He's 6'5, 310. He's a load. We've seen him take over games at times throughout his career. He is standard pros at backfield. Three wide receivers. Johnson looks over the defense. And he will throw for the first time today, and the pass is blocked oh. by Josh Smith for the first is. down. There it is. In between two defenders to the Houston 27 for a first down. Nice job standing in, the, standing in the pocket as it was collapsing and still delivers a strike. Waits for him to get open. There's Merrick Itera. Serves as the team's general manager. Here's another carry for Warren Murray. And Warren Murray trying to make it a jeep move, but will pick up five yards on first down. They remain ahead of schedule, right? That's right. And that uh, they were in that second and seven when they threw. That was a cranky second down deep in their own end of the field. Solid play to pick that up. Whole playbook still open as there's a look at Taylor Sconsing. The only hyphenated last name in the SFL that I'm aware of as Johnson's back to throw for attempt number two fires it out it's complete to DR Sim and he will make up four yards in the reception setting up a third and one I tackle made by Max Jacks couldn't quite deliver it to him uh, on the other side of the line to gain so it brings up third and one Colin and it's a fast moving first quarter we're under already under four minutes to go as we're looking at third and one situation. Here's your three. offset eye. Three tight ends on the field. Yep. Murray gets the ball, and Murray breaks the tackle and picks up the first down. Everybody knows they're going to run on that play, and they still pick up the first down. Taylor Sconsing saves what could have been a very long run for Murray. He had room for days. And this. Bo body blow approach but hyenas working so far my thoughts exactly Colin. they um can't allow las vegas to do this to them they're gonna be gassed by the time they hit the third quarter as the pass from johnson goes out to murray and murray he had a blocker but he forgot about the safety and instead he picks up three yards at least they threw that one where he could uh, make a move and get downfield colin 
At least he didn't run it out of bounds, so you were an old man oh, yelling at a cloud. I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to happen, Colin, running that uh, quick out and then getting the ball right as they step out of bounds. Two tight ends and balance the line. One receiver to the top, that is Sim. And once again, they'll fire this out to Murray on the swing. Tried to make Jackson miss, but only picked up two yards. Why, why, why? Run the ball up the middle, please. And set up a third and five. It's still manageable from this situation. Suddenly, suddenly falling in love with these swing passes. I was trying to spread the field out on it so you can get the running game up the middle going. It was already ah, working. They must have seen what Vancouver did the last game. Shooting the clock, 24 receptions. As here's to give up the middle <laughs> on third and five and Warsaw with the stop and oh man, Mosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Demond <laughs> Simeon looked like he was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Throwing it all over the yard and then uh, try and run on third and long. And the punt by Brian Adams. Jackson waiting back deep in an ever dangerous return, man. <laughs> And, ooh, and they got a good rush on it, but the punt's away, and Jackson fumbled oh, the ball! Oh, there it he is! Fumbled the ball! <laughs> it looked like Vegas <laughs> fell on it! Looked like Las Vegas fell back on the ball, although it was close. <laughs> it was so close. George Ioka <laughs> almost got the ball. How did he not? Right? That's First and 10 at the 14 the for Vegas. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Redford the single back. He has one carry for no gain so far. And Robin will throw. Throws down the field. Oh, oh he's know. picked off by Evan Garrison. <laughs> and he's going to run it all the way down to the one yard line. And Suze Goops was like, get to the end zone, young fella. But he didn't. Wow, what a play. Barely forgot he's supposed to score on that one. Looking for Funk on the corner, he just undercuts it and then look at the guys. <laughs> well, he's gonna leave it on the field for someone else, Colin. A true, true teammate. Here's a split backfield set up. Two receivers to the bottom. Well, prime Warren Moore territory right here. Turns to Gibbs. Oh! Good, good. That's not even Murray. He must have been hurt again, man. Good job of mucking up the middle there by Houston. Hats off to them. I've already been hard that on them. That was Darnell Black, a legendary figure right. in Aina Lore and a non-contract taking a hand off. Been Lost hard on their line yard. play. Sorry, Colin, in the, uh, in the middle. And there they did a great job on the goal line. Murray returns for the second and goal. Uh, watch the tight end getting loose in the wash. It gets a Murray sweeping one, oh, spins, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Hyenas. And there's your first points of the game. What a play as they're able to take advantage of the long interception return by Everett Garrison. Warren Murray punches it in from two yards away. Now, now there's a dog who's earning his stripes. He a dog. <laughs> we saw Ray Bentley score a couple receiving touchdowns last game. Murray's like, okay, I'll just run it in. The snap was wonky, but the kick is still good. So with 53 seconds left in this first quarter of play, Houston is in front of Vegas 7-0. <laughs> Here's the kick to Jackson who fields it from about his five yard line, spins across and brought down by two men at his own 29 yard line. So for Vegas, you just gave up a near pick six moments ago. The Future rating is a uh, favorable downgrade, as you would say, Rick. Yep. Um, yep. What they're, they're, do Vegas they're gonna end up on the do? Uh, downgrade on a watch rating is going to go to downgrade here. In my opinion, they need to get 
They need to get uh, Redford the ball. So far, he only has one carry for no yards. He's out in a pattern as a wide out. Quick drop, throw over the middle, complete to the number 17 for Las Vegas Mario Cabretti. As Raman is up to 34 yards, but he does have that pick Johnson with just 20. We have a second and four from 35 clock running. Under 25 seconds of counting. Standard pro set backfield. Two wide receivers, Redford. There with his fullback throw. Here's to get to Redford. His second carry. Oh. He's stopped behind the line for a loss of one yard. Benini again, the copper linebacker putting in the dirty work. Making the run stop. Let's the end of the first quarter, the score is Houston 7, Las Vegas nothing. You're watching the Simulation Football League on Twitch.tv. Tonight's simula today's Simulation Football League broadcast on Twitch is brought to you in part by ATM Music, Custom Music Library, and Custom Music Hub. Brought to you in part by Fuel Beyond Imagination. Visit the all new SFL Interactive.net today. Matt Doyle Designs, the official design partner of the SFL. And by Media Tech Institute. Turn your passion into a profession. The aerial shots of Houston are brought to you by Airviews, United by Drone. Visit airviews.com for more drone footage. The drone was not flying in the car. In case anybody needed clarification, start the second quarter with a certified ramen. Oh, oh no! no! It's intercepted by the <laughs> linebacker! <laughs> Number 55, Leighton Von Esch. Vanderesh. Vanderesh. Right and in front of Funk you, again, you, so that's over for two for poor you, Brett. Houston keeping the hometown crowd happy here in the first half, Colin. They score first, and now they've got a pick, and they are in business. Three tight ends on the field for the Hyenas. Murray to, sit, Murray to deep back. And this time they'll swing it out to Warren, but he'll lose two yards as America Terry comes up and plays the more swing passes. We need up the middle runs here. No catches so far for Leroy Brown, second year with the Hyenas after one year spent in New Orleans with the Barrows. They were stressing Vegas out early. Second and 12 from the gun, four wide. Johnson to throw. Johnson has all day, fires down oh. the middle. It is a nice completion and reception. There's a guy we were talking about, bad, bad Leroy Brown. Well, one of the DBs was out of position, he tried to go for the tip or even the pick. Sets him up at the third and four yards to go. To no avail. Standard pro set backfield. And Johnson there fires is. down the field, yeah. and he's caught Dolphin. by the doctor, and he makes a, no, that's just fed, and he makes a house call for the <laughs> touchdown, hyenas. <laughs> wow, what a play by the reserve guy getting paid you, in peanuts. You, can, you could see that one coming as uh, <laughs> he ran the corner out. Jackson tried to yep. swat it away at the last minute. And ultimately, that was all she wrote once and Fed caught the ball. Another DB slightly out of position and a precision throw. You could see that one coming. Just needed to deliver it on time, and he did. Oh, boy, the Hyenas looking for the first win of the season. Uh, jump all over the Fury. It's 9 nothing, And this extra point will now make it 10 to well, now make it 14 to nothing. <laughs> I can't do math. <laughs> two touchdowns, two extra points. There we go. Well, 
Also, Vegas is going to get another crack at it here, Colin. Find themselves and down two Jackson scores. Jackson has to do something big for his team. They're down by a couple of scores. Gets a nice return out to his own 29-yard line. And if you're Las Vegas, you got to get it to Redford. He has two carries for, like, Minus one yard. I think you're right. They, they got to get something going here. Four receivers. Redford gets the carry, and Robert will only get a yard. This Hyena defense is swallowing up one of the top running backs in this league. Trips to the top of your screen. Raman to throw, goes over the middle of Blades, and Mr. Blades has a five, makes it third and five. I'm That's sure that, a four-yard pick. I'm sure that was the primary receiver because it didn't take very long for that play to develop, but I swear the uh, coverage on the trips was not right, and if he'd have given it a chance, it, they might, might have had something bigger. Empty backfield set. Raman takes a medium drop back. Oh, oh sacked by Janet Tackle. No, that's Mike Badge Johnson's almost sacking his former teammate. And that's a big man, six foot seven, 320 pounds. That's wow, Fat love. Fats Johnson isn't called Fats for nothing, and he brings all of that the property, a, a physics property there. But they just couldn't solve it. It forces the punt. Just what, just what Eddie Gage wants to see. He's watching with his buddy Demond Simeon, and they're loving it right now as the fair catch is called for by Fed. So we've ticked under nine minutes here in the second quarter. Houston's up by two scores. And this defense is under siege. They need to make a play, and a play desperate. Excuse me. As we have a shotgun formation, three wide receivers. Murray next to Johns Johnson, and Johnson will call for the snap. He's back to throw as a free man. His face dumps it off to Fed, and Fed picks up four yards. He now has 43 yards on three catches and a touchdown. That's not a bad result as uh, there was a free runner. He just goes to the safety valve, picks up a couple yards. Now, what are your comments on these hyena uniforms? You know, we haven't done the fashion thing yet as we have tri <laughs> trips to the top and Johnson uh, changes the play. At some, the line. some people think they're the best in the SFL, but we're going to talk about that. In as a minute Murray here. catches it on the swing, and there goes Warren Murray out of bounds at the Vegas 47. That's a nice play, nice pickup. I'm kind of partial to, let's see, St. Louis's uniforms. Maybe. And, uh, Murray there, look at Sim throwing the block on the safety out there as Murray just, you know, got the ball and Sim got in front of the defender there, Taylor Sconsing, and was able to make something happen for who his does, tailback. Who does the black and the neon green, Colin? Uh, Queen City does. Yeah, Queen City's got a good uniform. As we have an eye formation, look, Murray to beat back. Second man oh, through. Tried to spin and he picked up five yards of it. And that man is feeling it. He's been heavily involved in this offense here in the first quarter and a half or so. And I think if you're Houston, you just keep doing that. Look at Kentes Johnson, 170 yards, quarterback rating over 130. Kept it clean so far in terms of all the Negative plays. Here's Murray again on the carry. Oh, and he was so shoved down by Max Jackson, but it'll be a third and two situation. Whole playbook's open for. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, they just need to move the move the sticks here. Short yardage. I'm going to predict run, and I'm going to predict if it's not, some heads will explode. 
Oh, they're gonna throw. <laughs> what do I know? A quick drop. They're going deep, the big shot, and oh! Number 40. That's a that's a uh, that's a good number 42 Thomas Raman Jr. That's a good play. Makes the play, and they kind of let them make that play. Just run it right up the middle. I mean, take yeah. your shot there. You can even you can even go four down fourth down at that part of the field. I mean, Las Vegas hasn't shown you anything. It's, but it's not too well, early to start willing, disrespecting them. <laughs> willing to punt it and put their defense who's at this Vegas offense in a vice grip as Adams trying to cough and corner this one and no the ball goes into the end zone the gunner number 20 George Ioka ran just a bit too far in front of that one good effort but we'll see what Vegas comes up with they, they need to make some adjustments and Colin you called it that uh, Redford needed to be involved and they tried that and he wasn't getting anywhere, so let's see what they can dial up on this possession. We have trips to the bottom of your screen. And Raman will throw. Redford gets the ball and picks up a first down. Well, that's an inventive way to get him in the game. 50 yards for Thomas Raman now, but he, unfortunately for him, he has those two interceptions. Yeah, had a pretty good route run by Redford and had enough space to go and run in it. Yeah, somehow Houston sort of lets Redford be free out in the flat. I mean, that's what the trip right. does to you. You flood one side and then you go up to the free side. And again, they go trips to the bottom. Memphis Blue is in the slot. Houston wants to play him tight. <laughs> And here's the throw, corner right, oh! oh! It's caught by Fred Funk! Funk oh, goes down, he gets the tackle! The tackle. <laughs> but not why, oh, Osako no. goes down to the 12! The Hall of Famer straight up, powered over by the wide receiver. A Aiden Davis trying to make the swap play, just brilliant play. And there's a look at Brett Flunk, one of the original Fury members. Redford, the deep back, Raman to throw again. Fires it out to Solomon Crow, picks up two yards. But oh man, Chad Tackle is breathing down Raman's neck real hard. They're lucky they got two yards out of that. They were, and everybody's still uh, upset about that missed tackle. That led. Led to a big gain. Friend, friends and family of uh, Eddie Gage may want to avert their eyes on the replay at that time. As they go out of the empty set, this is dangerous. And Robin oh. Oh, locked up in the air by number 23 for the Hyenas. Jindal Awuzi. He's a big guy at 6'1". Got his paw up there, knocked away. We have third and eight situation. So showing some good football IQ there as he has a sense of where that ball's going and gets himself in the throwing We line. have four wide receivers, three to the top, one to the bottom. I believe that is Memphis Blues. And they give to Redford on third down to set it up for the field goal. At least they try to make it easier. And they'll take that as look at that. Robert Redford, three yards and just He's not even at one yard per carry. I did not notice Redford on that. He's throwing every move he's got at the uh, at the Houston D, and he just can't can't get loose. And the number one rushing defense showing why they're putting <laughs> the clamps. The cl is, is that true? The clamps down on one of the top running backs. As the kick by Justin McCrack from 25 yards is up and through. And they break the ice here with five minutes to go in the second. You're watching the SFL on Twitch live from the SFL convention in Atlanta. And the kick by McCrack 
is away. Actually, it's kind of short. It feels about better. About ten. Oh. But he gets blown up. It's shoved down with a forearm to the grill. Num Number 56, Gabriel Cash delivering the boom. Well, they can really put the hurt on Las Vegas here with some more points right before halftime, Colin. One of your favorite. Trips to the bottom for the Hyenas. Johnson to throw. Going deep, he's got Leroy Brown to the 48 yard line. That's his second catch for 32 yards. Big play there on the post cut. Leroy Brown's uh, working on a good game here for himself. This probably won't be the last decent reception that he gets here. Just keeps Raman Jr. clean off the line. Just lets him free, going to the inside. He's gotta play with better technique than that, there's Raman Jr. Now Houston going trips to the bottom of your screen. Murray to deep back. He's now to see something, changes the play, back to throw. Throws a quick out cut. There's Sim for a pickup of seven yards on first down to make it a second and two. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> yeah, Sims is always uh, yakking in the huddle. He's always calling for the ball. We got an eye formation. Murray to deep back. And Johnson gives it to him on the power play. Oh. Second man through, he only picked up a yard. Jack Burton with, stops him just before the first down mark. Nice little hop step over the down lineman. Did you catch that? I saw that, pretty impressive athleticism. Good on the tire drill, that one. Third and one situation. We have a three-man backfield. Oh, oh, yeah. I have a feeling Murray's going to get the ball. Now they're going to the screen. And he broke the tackle of Burton, but gets cleaned up by Atera. And with that completion, J Johnson's 12 of 13 for 105 wow. and a touchdown. That's impressive. Wow. He almost got his hat taken off at the end of that play. You know, if his lineman, number 74 out there, did his job, he wouldn't have had to suffer that. Oh, shout out. As we have a two tight ends balanced line. Murray takes it on the sweep. Oh, play. look Cuts at that hole. Oh. And we get to the 27. For a second and two situation. We have Brown in the slot to the bottom as Murray gets the carry. Ooh, uh -oh. oh, inches. And he said he didn't inches. get the first down, but it'll be less than about a chest hair away. It's a game of inches. Are they going to throw out of this one? We have three tight ends on the field. This is going to Murray either way. Johnson drawing out the count. Gives to Murray on the ice, so he picks up the first down. Nice. nice. And we approach the two-minute warning. Houston in front of Las Vegas, 14 to three. On that last play, you're looking at, they're focusing on the line play, the guard for the Hyenas, uh, the left guard, number 70, got pancaked by uh, the Las Vegas defender. And I'm not sure if that was maybe intended as the, uh, the play was designed to go to the, around the right side. But I haven't seen that yet. Three receivers two to the bottom, one to the top. Here's to get to Murray again. Hurls over the lineman. This time it was the center, number 72, Trent Frederick. As the tackle is made by Harley Stone for Las Vegas. That may be designed as he also allowed himself to be blown off the line and then they run through the hole. 
Vacated by the defender. They got eye formation, three wide receivers. Brown is in the slot. Fed to the top, Johnson to throw. Goes down the middle, oh! Complete for the touchdown! And Doc Two makes the house call. Touchdown, Houston! <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered, again. <laughs> and look, he ran the post cut beautifully, Brown. Oh, yeah. Sucker defenders underneath, and that's a beautiful play design by the hyena offense there. And everything's coming up, hyena red and gold. Now the holder. And the score is 21 to 14, or 21 to three. Uh, again, again, <laughs> somehow. Numbers. Mm, talking. So the holder on that one had it, handled it cleanly and a good placement. No, uh, no drop kicking or resetting. Or the holder didn't get tackled. That was a worst case scenario. We saw that <laughs> when uh, Seattle from that did one. that versus St. Louis in week one. Or week two, rather. Because we had a bye week one. As Jackson returns it to 28. If you're the Fury, you got to be searching for answers. Geez, somebody got to step up. And that somebody's got to be, I hate to say it again, Robert Redford. Well, I think you're also looking for uh, t Thomas Rahman, one Thomas Rahman to uh, step up as well. He's going to have to start directing traffic a little bit better. And Rahman, under pressure, gets oh, it away to Redford. And he got back to the line of scrimmage, but it could have been worse. Everett Garrison with the tackle, but how about the escapability of Tom Rahman just being able to avoid a certain oh. Rahman, Rahman spins and runs to his right, turns around and fires back to his left. Great schoolyard style play. Unfortunately, no game. Gain we have Las trips Vegas. to the bottom as it's under a minute to go. They go to the corner. Oh, what, 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 but there what, were two men on. out there. Oh. Aiden Davis and Eddie Gage on Brett oh. Funk. Third oh. and 10. Oh. Clock stopped at 49 Wrong number. seconds. Hello? Left. Hello? Nobody was there. Somebody was on the wrong page. Lights were on. Nobody was home. That ball, that ball came out quick and with authority. Clearly, Raman the expected crowd. the receiver to be Takes there. Takes up a chance of defense. And they run on third down, and they oh, get it. Oh, oh, I thought they were going to get it. I bet it was nine yards. And oh, man. Seemed like it's Redford closer. Redford with his best run of the day, but it's not enough. Seemed like it was going to be closer than fourth and one. Here's Papo again on the punt. It. And John and John Bond has to be thinking to himself, what do I got to do to get my team back in the game? They're going to go lick their wounds. And to compound things worse for Las Vegas, Houston will get the ball to start the third quarter. And that's the end of the first half. We have a 21 to three Houston lead over Las Vegas. You're watching the Simulation Football League presented by AP Music on Twitch TV. I have our esteemed commissioner, Cameron Irvine, alongside with us. Cameron, uh, what did you see out on the field? Well, Houston looks pretty good. Huh? How about that? Ahmad and Eddie in person, live and in person, making it happen. And uh, they've been very balanced, but Kentez Johnson, Colin, wow. I, He's I, been incredible. I know, for sure. And you look 12 rushing yards for Robert Redford. You just got to scratch your head. How can they get that guy going? A million dollar question. And Las Vegas, remember, they, they had a, uh, a rough first half against London last week. And they were a second-half team, 
But uh, that was at home. This is on the road. It's a whole other different challenge for the Fury. As, uh, you know, they're playing great complimentary football. Got the pick six and the nice short worm worry run. Made Tara missing the hole. This is a team that has misfired because of offensive turnovers and so far. Johnson's cut the set. She's real clean. And there was another play that got overturned that was ruled a fumble that could have been another Las Vegas turnover. So they've been uh, having some trouble moving the ball down the field. And it's going to be real interesting uh, to see if they give us, show us any sort of different look in that second half. Vancouver, in the second half of their game, really did not get pseudo Nakai involved at all in the running game. Is that the approach that Vegas is going to have in the second half down 18? Or are they going to try to hang in there and stay true to who they are, which is a running football team. Josh Red with a real nice touchdown catch. Uh, that was one of the more impressive things I, I've seen in this half. There's the other touchdown for the gym. And as we get back on the field, I don't know what was said at halftime, but something has to wake up this team. Yeah, it's going to be an ugly second half. They don't make some uh, solid adjustments. So we start the third point. We crack the kick off. Fed. And the kick. Fielded at the 10. And there goes just Fed. And Fed 50. He's loose. Fed 40. He's loose. Fed 30. When I thought I've seen everything, we have a special team's kickoff return to touchdown. Oh, they get a from nice a nine contract. Nice seal, move, drifts to his left, makes one cut to his right, and he is gone. Shout out to Randy Gathers to get the last block on the poor kicker. <laughs> and ultimately sealed the, the deal. The poor kicker, like he was going to make the tackle anyway. I know kickers are people too. So fed with a touchdown of the special teams variety to open up this third quarter. And oh my, Rick, it, it, it's just snowballing for so Las Vegas. Houston functionally says, you know what, Las Vegas, you start the second half. So we'll have another kickoff here for the second play of the second half. It's an effect to reset is what you get, Rick. And here's Jackson. He can't exactly one up fed. Cannot return the favor. As uh, now Vegas it has to be in an absolute state of bewilderment. Thought they were going to be down by three scores. Now, in essence, they're down by four scores. And let's not ignore the use of, proper use of the term word bewilderment. Oh. And oh, it's dropped. And the reserve cornerback again knocking that away. We've said it before, but one of the keys to scoring well in the SAT is to study your vocabulary. And there's a word for you. I was looking for Cabretti. Oh, just bats it down. Nice play. Just ever so casual. We have a second and ten situation. Two receivers at the top that is blue. Funk is in the slot for the second down and ten. Swing it out to Redford. And that's one way to get him involved. He picks up. Six yards and 
Tom Rahman now up to 113. They had a little success with that uh, right there late in the second quarter, Colin, swinging uh, Redford out. And, um, you know, maybe until Houston recognizes that, they'll keep going back to it. We have a third down four situation. We have press coverage from the Hyenas. Quick drop back over the middle. It's oh. intercepted. Oh, oh my. That's Van Der Esch again. <laughs> Three interceptions for this Hyena defense. And you got to give credits to Fats Johnson there. He provided the initial pressure, which might have forced the early throw. That was Van Der Esch on the pick. Is that his second? Hey. Yes, that is his second. Numero dos. Oh, great comment in the chat by DJ Loveless there about the generics being extremely valuable today. Johnson throws oh. at the Murray and he lost two yards. Oh, shoot me now, shoot me now. <sighs> please, please throw those swing passes where the receiver can get it and turn up field. That's the first mistake Murray has made today is there's <laughs> Johnson. Oh, that's harsh. The completed pass is his biggest mistake. <laughs> As the quick drop back, uh -oh, and Johnson uh -oh. goes down. Sack made by number 55 for the Fury. Wolfgar Reinhardt made a huge loss. Is Straight out of East Germany with a roid rage. We have a third and 16 situation. The corner shifting, trying to disguise their coverage as they line up in the dime. Here's Johnson to throw, gets it away. Oh, oh. and almost oh. intercepted by Jack Burton. I want to give a shout out to Warren Murray for that last play because Red Sawyer was coming and he was coming in a hurry and he got just enough of a chip of him that Johnson was able to get the pass away. That That's true. Yeah, he was uh, he was going down, and he gets it away for no loss. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here is the punt by Adams standing back at his own court. and here is it away, and will be uh -oh, down uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> in the end zone. The guy ran too far. <laughs> Sprints it and he scores it. <laughs> <laughs> he won't stop till Galveston he's running up the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good Texas geography joke there. Love it. And this it, It's been argued here at the convention that Texas is the best state. I don't know, we'll see about that. And Redford on the carry oh. and Robert with his best run of the day picks up four yards. It's a little Robert Redford of old, you know, the way we were, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Natural looking more like his old self on that play. Look at that quarterback rating, 23.5. Yeah, or don't look at the quarterback rating, depending on your reading interest. As they give again to Redford, and they <laughs> go backwards. They lost two yards, and there's two scoops. Well, that's old Robert Redford now. Who continues his march toward a thousand career tackles? Third and eight. What is that? Not, were you at 985? Is that the, that's a stat from last night. See, somebody was paying attention. Here's an empty backfield set. Ramen. Quick drop. Oh. Under duress, and now he goes. Chad tackle with the sack. Wow. Good second effort on the defensive rush there. And Raman tries to escape, but right into the arms. And there's the man who got the shout out in the Hall of Fame speech. Uh, cheeseburger, River 74, says Tennessee is the best state. Yeah. Now, was he a dog? I can't remember who was a dog and who was not a dog last night. Everybody's a dog. Now, so, somebody used to be a dog. I forgot who that was. That was Ryan as 
fed. Returns it to the 46, and we got an injury on the play. Uh, reserve defensive back Lincoln Hawk. Yeah, after listening to uh, Eddie's speech last night, my new goal in life is to be labeled as a dog. There's Warren Murray, a productive day for him. 18 carries, 69 yards. And he trips to the bottom. And Johnson will stir in a nickel defense. And he gives to Murray, and Murray drags number 50 for the Fury. A Chuck Warsaw for a ride as he picks up four yards. Las Vegas had a corner and a safety like standing next to each other, and there wasn't even a, a, a split out or a wide out over there. Totally uninvolved in the play. Three, three wide. Yeah, look at the corners playing Guess where way this out going. the line of scrimmage. Johnson, <laughs> he must see the play. He takes a seven step out. Oh, oh, a great player. Oh. Blowed up whatever plans they may have, and a oh. big guy gets another hit on the young quarterback. Set up a third and six. Oh boy, he had to be it looking at there. that post corner. There. He, he could have run the pretzel route and still made a first down. Now they go four wide in the gun. Murray on Johnson's left hip. Looking at a dime defense. Back to throw. Johnson fires it out. Oh, and he's complete oh, number 81. <laughs> Barry Bergens. And Bergens was able to make the catch turn up field. And it, yeah, and it had enough room to make the first down. An, Just an, an out, absolutely yeah. brilliant there. Yeah, an out route that you can catch the ball and actually gain some yardage. Nice. Now we have three tight ends on the field. And they're going to swing it out to Murray on the screen. But the blockers don't help him, and he only picks up three yards. Johnson now up to 138 with that last completion. They just sent too deep on that. They One of them would have been open as, as they had the entire defense kind of sucked up into right. the line. Everybody's playing close. Somebody with speed could have blown right by them, but they went short. Bring up second and seven. Trips to the top of the screen. Johnson will throw. Deep down the middle of the field. Oh, oh, Leroy Brown was in the neighborhood, but Max Jackson with a brilliant play in the ball and knocking away to set up a third and seven. Just good competition there, deep in the secondary. Trying to get open, trying to cover him. And it's incomplete. Third and seven. From the Fury. Third and seven situation. Bunch to the top of your screen. Houston trying to get into the red zone here for the umpteenth time already. Johnson, medium drop back, throws. Oh. It is caught by Sim for about six yards, but it'll be a yard short as he gets knocked out at the 22. Did Sims run that route too short? What happened there? I don't know what happened there. And Griffin Just saying. will be on for got, his second field goal attempt. Remember, he missed one from 48 and hit the crossbar earlier i have a physical barrier between me and Demon, so it's okay i feel comfortable making that comment <laughs> from the 22 yard line right hand Let's keep our eye on that holder and a snap spot kick is on the way and it is good from 39 yards and david griffin adds three points on the board to the hyena lead it is now 31 to three game so the worst kicker in the league bails the offense out of that fourth and one predicament they put them in. And we're about four points away from what the score was. It was an infamous moment in Houston sports history. Of course, I'm talking about the Oilers blowing a 35 to three lead against the Buffalo Bills in the 1992 AFC wildcard game. As Jackson spins up to the 30-yard line. We know Vegas has a lot of big comebacks in them. We saw it week one against Chicago, week two against London. But trying to make the river run uphill in this situation is going to be mighty difficult. 
Still lots of time left in this game, Colin. <laughs> For uh, Houston to score some more. <laughs> As Raman drops, throws in the middle, it's complete. And that's a big strike down the field to number 87, Memphis Blue. And they get a comment in the chat from Jeremy Vega. He says, Denver the dog is looking really good. Let's go! Is Denver on the camera? Let's see. Not quite. We have trips to the top. As the throw out to Redford on the swing, and there goes Robin Redford off the field. Yeah, we'll have to get Denver uh, to move a couple of chairs over, and then the people in the uh, online can see him. Denver did make the trip to the SFL convention, his first one. And uh, there's a nice combo tackle by Wyo and Number 52. Uh, There's Denver Eddie. the dog. Everybody say hello to Denver. And there, uh, Redford goes backwards. He lost three yards. <laughs> oh, no. That is Johnson. He's having a big game against his former team. He's probably amped up. He was probably amped up for this one. Super impressed by Houston so far, Colin, with uh, four and a half minutes to go here in the third, and it is all Houston all the time. As we have a second down to 13. And another set. Oh, my. This time it's a three-year loss. Chad tackle his second set. <laughs> And the De Denver Nightwings want to uh, contact Denver the dog's agent. He's in, looks De looks in good shape on the, uh, on the screen. As here to give on third and sixteen, they're just waving the white flag to get back to the forty-four. For those of you interested in drafting Denver, he's a six-year-old. Is he six years old? Yeah. Six-year-old pure yellow lab, English lab with red color, known as a fox red. About 71 pounds, 65 of muscle, five pounds of rocks, and one pound of brain. <laughs> and uh, we just got a tier one subscription from XVILA47. Thank you very much, sir. We have, that was Hunter Norwood. Tallahassee and shout out. And true. KJ5, Tackle Saint, um, and something Rockstar among those in the chat. Thanks for joining us. XRTK, Rockstar. And Johnson swings it out to Murray. Made a nice spin move to miss one tackle, but Raman Jr. cleans it up. And Murray has to be enjoying what he's seeing. He's been the center point of a lot of what they've done offensively. Sort of split shotgun look back, flanking Johnson either side. Changes to play at the line of scrimmage. He goes back to throw, has a oh, nice completion to Leroy Brown. Down to the 32. We've called his name and number quite a bit already today, Colin. We're still in the third quarter. Leroy Brown, DR Sims. All having a good game. Now they have Brown in the slot. Sim to the top of the screen by himself. Look at the corners, playing off almost to the marker. Johnson will go the other way. Oh, oh, oh it's oh, almost oh. picked off by number 34 for Las Vegas. Well, Las Vegas. Jack Burton. Sorry, Las Vegas wasn't con wasn't uh, fooled on that play as they end up throwing out of the power eye. 
They actually needed the extra protection there if you were paying attention to the rush. But good defense on that play by your Las Vegas Heroes. Now we have trips to the bottom. Four wide. Johnson to throw again. Johnson has a man Ooh. open. It's fed to the 46 for a first down. And Josh Fed continues a personal career best day for him. BJ Loveless saying, Leroy Brown's one of the most underrated receivers in the league. Quietly almost got up 2,000 yards last year. I gotta say, I'm impressed by uh, Johnson. I either impressed or uh, scratching my head at how he stands like a statue in that pocket and just waits. I mean, it seems like he's gonna get sacked. And uh, lets it fly. Here's the seven step drop. Johnson going deep down the field. Oh, oh almost. Caught by Leroy Brown on the deflection from Max Jackson. Couldn't quite see that on the on the deflection. And it falls harmlessly right behind him. Look in the chat, Rick. Yes. Uh, Denver Nightwings has an offer. If Denver the dog can catch a pass from Cam, he'll donate a million bits. A million bits. All right. Uh, well, you know what? We're, who's got a tennis ball or a frisbee? It's going to cost you a million bits. <laughs> Se second and ten. Here's Murray on the sweep. Why gets a tried to get a good block from the guard, but the guard was lazy and couldn't make the block. <laughs> this is a dog in training. And we have a third and eight. Johnson oh. fires the Fed. And oh boy, Josh Fed had butter slabbed all over his hands as he couldn't hang on to the grease pig. Em embarrassingly off his hands and then off his face mask. Ouch. He needed to catch that in his mouth. And the punt is away as clock is up, 101 and third. And for Las Vegas offensively, they haven't had a whole lot of answers. They've been behind schedule an awful lot today. And they did cut the lead 14 to three. But that is as far as they've gotten That's so it. far. Spotted Houston 14, and then they gave Houston a kickoff return to start the second half. Empty backfield set. Redford out wide as a third wide receiver. And Rahman down the field from the Memphis Blue to the 33 yard line. Eddie Gage, his second tackle. That's more what we're used to seeing from, uh, from Rahman. By my calculations, we have 900 and... Three total, two tackles per gauge. He was at 985 coming into the game. Oh, here's a question. If you miss as a tackle, the, do they take one away? As the swing pass, Goes out now to Redford. Might, I think Eddie might need for 16 three. tackles now to make a 1,000. Tackled by Garrison after a three-yard pickup. And ladies and gentlemen, put your fours up. As we go into the fourth quarter, Houston in front of Las Vegas, 31-3. You're watching the Simulation Football League presented by ABM Music on Twitch TV. Tonight's Simulation Football League broadcast on Twitch is brought to you in part by Nation's Best Football, helping NFL, college, high school, and youth players delve aspects to bag, store screen, and 
scoring app of the SFL, by Technicist Custom Esports Jersey, Carol and Exclusive, SFL Software Rider, and Spyga, dedicated to the craft of audio. Aerial Shots brought to you by Airviews, united by drone. Visit airviews.com to see more drone footage that is views spelled with V U Z dot com. As they go, empty again. Rami oh. will step up into a sack. Yeah, it's snowed under. By Akavainas, that's Chad Dagle and Rodney Panetti. <laughs> he looped all the way around. That's a long way to get, he get his half a sack. I don't know if Las Vegas has uh, any of these plays in the build for this game, but... They've got to start sprinting ramen out or going going for a few different types of screens just to slow the rush down. He's got very little time on average. Third and 11th situation. They give it. And Redford. He's like, I'm going to pick up. Yardage to the 35. He's at 20 yards. It's a master class in stopping a running back put on today by two scoops Eddie Gage in his defense. I'm going to let Redford get hit. He gets paid to take the punishment. That's Papo again. He's been on the field so much his leg's probably getting tired. And Fed lets us go and this will roll all the way down to the Eastern 27. Yeah, I think the Papo the punter is uh, Basically taking an aspartame bath every time it comes off the sideline uh, to the sideline from his punting. So with 9:52 left, Houston firmly in control. No doubt about that one. Sim, lone receiver to the top of the picture. Johnson will throw. Oh. Going for Murray. Oh, that was a forward pass. That was not a backward pass. Red Sawyer still playing hard out there to big defensive tackle. That may have gone off a helmet. Let's see if uh, we get a replay. Nope. Oh, the boy's in the truck. You know, they, they sit down in that truck and swill Mountain Dew and gorge themselves on Pop-Tarts. And by the end of the game, they like don't even know what they're doing. Three tight ends on the field. Johnson, now he'll get it out to Murray. Murray had to go behind his back and Jonathan Taylor Sconsing with an impressive open field stop. That's good coverage and he has to throw it behind him so it doesn't get picked and uh, forces him to spin around to catch it. Can't do anything with it. Taylor Sconsing, the 11th overall pick in the rookie draft. As Johnson throws deep down the field. Oh, oh he went right. It went off of his head. It went off of his head, and he didn't turn around in time to catch the ball. Wow. That's a Jose Canseco style play as the uh, ball bounces off his hat. And we have a fourth and ten. Vegas holds serve defensively. And Jackson spins up the middle. Oh, he was just about a second or two away from perhaps breaking a big one. And calm down, Las Vegas. This might be your best starting field position in a long time. They're on 46. And this game's about to get tight. We have a, See, you watch this. We, we have an empty backfield Big play set. right here. And Ramen turns, throws to Funk, and Red Funk with a nice move to stay in bounds and get eight yards. Uh, he actually got out of bounds and stopped the clock. Second and one. Old playbook open here. <laughs> the best second down 
and distance Las Vegas has had. You know, they, they come on like this pretty hard, maybe by the fifth or sixth quarter. It would be, be a ball game. I formation. Redford deep. He's the second man through on the sweep. Runs over the fender, oh. and he almost broke away, Good but job. his ex-teammate, Anthony Wallace, says, sit down, young fella. First down. We get to the 38. Standard pro set backfield, funk in the slot, blue to the very bottom of your I, screen. I don't think we've seen this formation on offense yet. And they will give to Redford. Redford finds a bit of a crease and picks up four yards. Second and six. Get something. So now Houston's actually going to have to work for a living. And think about what's going on here with the offense, Colin. As it trips to the top of the screen, back to throw, going deep. It's Memphis Blue with a nice reception out of bounds of the 14. And again, it's one of them corner routes, Rick. We've seen both teams use it to great effect, and that time it benefited Vegas. If you've got three guys, if, you've, if you're running your trip formation and they're all on the same page, you can reliably get somebody open every time. And that's why you see a lot of it here in the SFL. Well, they have a tight end in the flex out as Redford will lose two yards. There is Davis and Loveless combining on the stop. Redford's guilty of trying to make something out of nothing. Yep was designed to go up the middle and he decides to bounce it out and the pursuit is already there in the backfield and instead of no gain, he loses a couple. We have a second and 12, trips to the top, one to the bottom. Memphis Blue is the one there on the bottom here as we get to Redford trying oh. to spin and he only got to the line of scrimmage. Las Vegas offense, Collins, got to remember to play within the scheme and within themselves, right? Yeah, trying to do too much here. It's hurting them. Here's Raman back to throw. Fires end zone. Knocked oh. up in the end. Two scoops almost got it out of ricochet. <laughs> Pass intended for Memphis Blue. And it looks like Vegas will have another three pointer for it coming. I believe the pass was tipped by either Davis or Wyo, and then Gage had it on the ricochet when it was initially tipped. Stephen Hacker subscribed to Church Prime. Thank you very much. There's McGrath. We'll kick this one through the sticks from 33 yards. We have a uh, 31 to 6 game. Well, Las Vegas feeling good about themselves, scores in both the first and fourth quarters. They make this score 31 to six. Look at the, um, Jeremy Vega in the chat says, Denver's ability to stay asleep despite the crowd noise is exactly why we want to sign them. Yeah. He's impressive that way. We'll take him to University of Michigan football games with 110,000 screaming people, and he takes a nap. Josh Fed turns it up to the 26, and, and the hyenas have just got to continue to burn clocks somehow. I did notice uh, earlier on their um, couple of earlier possessions, they weren't running the uh, play clock down as far as they could. Let's see if they tighten that up on this position, possession. And Fritz Johnson don't have the right coverage, gives to Murray. Oh. He lost the ball! He lost the ball! Let's see who got the ball. <laughs> wow. The Hyenas get the ball as Max Jackson trying to point out the scoreboard. Buddy, you're down 31 to six. I want to be doing that. <laughs> Speaking of not knowing your maths so well. 
Second down and nine. He thinks, he's, he thinks they're winning. Here is the give on the counter play to Murray. Breaks his tackle, but will lose the yardage. Lost two, back to the 26. Here's a third and 11, but the clock is running. Let's see what they do with the play clock. You mentioned this earlier, Rick. There goes the night wings with a little smack talk in the chat. Vegas put them to sleep. As the throw from Johnson oh down the field. Oh, my. Oh, and Barry Bergens almost hauled that one in, but it's incomplete. Fourth and 11. Actually seen a little bit more of Houston's punter here in the second half, Colin. As the kick was nearly blocked, fair catch called by Jackson at his <laughs> own 36. <laughs> Tired of getting smoked on the returns, calls for the fair catch. And again, decent position. Las Vegas turned good field position into th uh, three points last time. But they were hoping for seven. Of course. Well, they're hoping for 28. I formation, Redford deep, Crow close, one receiver either side. And they give uh, off to Redford <laughs> and he's not, he, he'll give him a yard. And the collective groan you hear is from the Las Vegas faithful. Let's go. Functionally, potentially functionally waving the white flag here. Don't forget, we have three more games coming up after this. Chicago at Charleston, St. Louis at Atlanta, and then Carolina Baltimore SSL game number 1,000. And the throw was knocked up in the air. Gregory with the hit, number 94. The pocket just never really gets formed, let alone holds up, and uh, he gets squished. Fortunate to try and uh, able to actually get something that looks like a forward pass off, Colin. as four wide receivers. And they run it on third and nine with the backup. No, that's Redford. They probably did that with going for fourth in mind as the academic exercise here. See if they can get them to jump. Or perhaps pick it up, who knows. They set quickly. Raman changing his count, gets the Redford once again, oh, but no. he's stopped. He's stopped in the middle by BJ Loveless, number 50. Gonna catch him maybe on a surprise with the handoff. <laughs> Nothing doing. Look at that fearsome tackle. He meets him right in the hole and brings him down. So drive starts on the Fury 43, 3.59 to go. Let's see if they now start to burn some clock. Las Vegas has all their timeouts, don't forget. Here's to get to Murray, Murray uh -oh. scores uh -oh. through the hole and picks up a first down of about 11 yards. Jack Burton on the tackle. going to look at it one more time, Rick. Just some beautiful pulling action by and a nice Zach little Martin cut. and the fullback there, number 33. It's a nice cut around the linebacker, John Spartan, who is engaged. That's why they pay him the big bucks. Smart. We have a first and 10. Three tight ends on the field including the uh, special team ace, Randy Gathers, number 87. Here's to get to Murray. This time off the left side, he picks up three yards, but the clock continues to wind out. Kraken 83 in the chat. 
I think, getting the joke about my comment about all the timeouts available for Las Vegas. We're now under three minutes to go. We're at three, 250 and counting. Watch for Las Vegas to frustratingly use them here at the end of the game. We have a three-man backfield. And here is the give. There is the backup running back, Darnell Black, his second carry. And it's for positive yards. There's Mr. Spartan, number 94, the linebacker. As we get a third and five situation. And we're fast approaching the two minute warning. And right on here we have the two minute warning. Houston is on cruise control in Vegas 31 to 6. This is the SFL presented by AP Music on Twitch TV. Well, it's probably not too early to start reviewing what we've learned about this game, Colin. First of all, Houston is a dog. Well. And, and Las Vegas has a lot of work to do. Warren Murray being the engine both on the ground and through the air. Kenton Johnson extremely efficient. Here, Murray takes that up. Uh -oh. They're down. Gets the first down and more down to the 16-yard line. And now the timeout will start. Cue the timeout. Here. Somebody was laughing at that comment, but it's my job to give everybody a little foreshadowing. We've also learned that bewilderment is a good word. No, that was Darnell Black on the carry. The backup getting huge stuff here. Yeah. Ethan Kai 66 popping in the chat. Welcome, young fellas. It's now backup time. We have Courtney Coleman, of course, authoring one of the most legendary plays of all time when he avoided a sack against Louisville. As Black up the middle. Oh, wow, there we go. We'll pick up five and yards. And another, another timeout time call. Yeah. We've also learned that studying your vocabulary list is a good way to score well on the SAT. Of course, um, the big headliner is the 1,000th game between Carolina and Baltimore. But right before that, it's Fate Wars between St. Louis and Atlanta. That's always a big game between those two teams when they get together. As to give it to Black. Uh oh. He's through in the middle, got the first down, but we have a flag. We have a flag on the play. R62 says he's got to get in the game here. Oh, we have a clip. Uh -oh. We have a clip. Who is it on? Number 62, Wiggins. Clint Wiggins, 82 Clint Wiggins called for the clip, wipes out a first down and an opportunity for a touchdown for Clint misses her Wiggins. Guilty on that one. There's Jonathan Taylor Scotsing. His name is so long it barely fits in the graph. We have a second and 17. Hyenas will run the ball at the middle of black and black. We'll get to the 18, and that's all the timeouts the Las Vegas Fury have. Yeah, why not run it? They've been getting yardage, and it burns the rest of the clock, Colin. Or, and or forces the, uh, the timeouts. There's a look at Josh Webb. Look at those numbers. Four catches on seven targets for 57 yards and a touchdown. Very impressive. Are they going to put this uh, in the hands of Courtney Coleman for this third long situation? <laughs> yes, they are. Uh -oh. He's got oh. the Oh, he's out of the back of the end zone. <laughs> I think he was just trying to burn some more clock, and we get a field goal attempt for it coming. Love that throw on the run. This didn't go to anybody. Thank you, Ray Bentley, for 100 bits in the chat. Hey. The newly inducted Hall of Famer. Great ceremony last night. Orb father. <laughs> nice. As the high snap 
Gets down and Griffin's kick is right down the middle. And it is now a 34. 34 to six game. Six. How'd you like to make six dollars the hard way? Thanks for the shout outs, people in the chat. Appreciate that you listen. <laughs> and thank you, Mr. Bentley, for giving us the, those kind compliments. As the return by Jackson is up to the third. So a minute 32. This could turn into just an exercise. Of, well, let's see what a hurry up offense yeah, looks like. Yeah, let's go. I got a minute 32. Let's see some exciting plays here. Las Vegas is uh, already working on next week, so let's see what they've got. Has any backup QB scored a TD this season? That's not a question I can answer, but I'm pretty sure it can be crowdsourced. And that crowdsourced answer is no, it's a throw! Oh, 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 boom! Oh, it was caught by the wide receiver <laughs> from Miss Blue! Holy cow, off of three people! Uh, I've never seen anything like that, but we got a flag. Oh, we got an eligible oh, man downfield! Down Holy holy <laughs> touching a forward pass! I guess he went out of bounds before he came back in to cut the pass. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Did somebody just say we might see some interesting plays right here at the end of the game? I don't know. I just want to say. Here is first and 15 following the penalty, and they get the rest for what are they doing? <laughs> and he gets it into a, uh, for uh, Vegas, a familiar second and long. And here they go again. Uh, oh, too, and the uh, area of offense is falling. One too many times to the well with the handoff to Redford. They now, he, on now, that. now he changes the play. Oh, they're now gonna run again. Resets. Oh, what is going on? Oh, no. What is going on? This is in a nutshell for Vegas. Is Ve <laughs> Vegas is burning. <laughs> running plays after the amazing uh, here we go let's see what kind of killer uh, mean spirit Houston has nope they're just gonna play good sports and down the ball here in the easiest formation in all of football for a quarterback in victory formation. As we wind this one down, I want to thank everybody for uh, listening to our call live from the SFL convention here in Atlanta. I want to thank our sponsors. Thank our sponsors. Uh, APM Music, ScoreStream, Nation's Best Football, Sector 6, Spy Goat, and Air views. That air view this stuff is awesome, by the way. As the crowd is count, uh, as the countdown's going on right now. This will be the last snap. Victory is a thousand fathers while defeat is an orphan. It is now a, an official final, thirty-four to six. The Houston Hyenas off the snide. Cam owes the bond and Eddie some tickets. <laughs> <laughs> As we get a look at the stats, it's uh, yardage it's similar, but the turnovers and TOP was ultimately. How the Fury have 231 yards? Ultimately the killer. There's the highlight of the game for me, Josh Beds. Opening kickoff return, touchdown. 24 who gets paid to be a speed merchant is out of position, cannot catch up. Oh, 
that one. Just for Tom Rollins, just a bad day. For two picks to the linebacker Banderash. I don't want to say anything, Tom, but we, we've had a couple of Tom Rollins games where we've seen him be two very un Tom Rollins type of things. This might be another Josh one. That was Memphis's leading wide receiver. Warren Murray, 91 yards, solid game for him. Everything came together for Eddie Gage and Devon Simeon as far as game plans on both sides of the ball. Want to give Denver the dog a shout out? Thanks for uh, watching. And 300 bits for the GOAT DR Simp from Optimus Prime. As far as Gage winning, he had a couple of tackles, nearly had a pick six. Oh, DJ KSFL goes, Eddie is old, lost a step. Ouch. Of course, that's the Hall of Famer, Ken Johnson. So, play the game, drum roll, please. It's Josh Smith! Wow! Two total touchdowns, four receptions, 57 yards, 125 kickoff for 3 yards, and one kick return touchdown. Finds the end zone twice. And for all of us at the Simulation Football League, I'm Colin Lurga. He's Rick Norton. Stay tuned for the other games. Have a good day, everyone.